strong Mr. member. Mr. Strong Speaker, member. my question is to the Honourable Minister of Children, Community and Social Services. The Auditor General released her annual report yesterday, and amid all the scandals, waste of management, there were a few statistics that stood out from your ministry. The Auditor says, and I quote, we identified 36 per cent of Ontario Works recipients as having barriers that affect their ability to prepare for work or find employment. Service managers across Ontario told us that these barriers include mental health conditions, addictions and homelessness. End of quote, Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this sounds like a disjointed patchwork system that isn't helping society's most vulnerable the way it should. Question. It certainly doesn't sound like it's focused on the recipient. Can the minister tell us what the government for the people is doing different to ensure a path to employment? Of children, community and social services. Appreciate the question from the member of Burlington, um, and it's a very important question. I'd also like to say thank you to Ontario's Auditor General for confirming what I've been saying in this House for five long months, that the system I inherited from the previous Liberal administration was not working to get the people in Ontario who can get back to work back on track. And that's why I am proud to be part of a government for the first time in 15 years that's working across government through multi-ministerial approaches to get people back on track where they're able to get back to work. And that's why I was proud to work with the Minister of Finance so that we could announce the fall economic statement lift so people can keep more money in their pockets. I'm working with the Minister of Training, Colleges and University so we can have that skills deployment as early in the, in the uh, casework as possible, working with the Minister of um, Response. Uh, Health on uh, Mental Health and Addictions and the Minister of Housing so we can make sure people have supportive housing. I look forward to speaking more about this in the supplemental. Thank you. Stop the clock. Restart the clock. Supplementary. Uh, thank you, Minister, for your thoughtful and passionate uh, response. The auditor had so much more to say about the dysfunction at Ontario Works. It says, and I quote, since our last audit in 2009, the average monthly number of Ontario Works cases increased by almost 25 per cent, 202,000 to 250,000 in 2017-18. Although Ontario Works uh, is intended to be a temporary assistance program, Speaker, we found that th since 2008-2009, the average length of time people depend on this program has nearly doubled, increasing from an average of 19 months to three years." End of quote. It's an indictment on the previous government, but more importantly, it's disheartening for those who just want to work. Can the minister elaborate on how her plan to give those able to work a hand up and get those ignored by the Liberals back into the workforce? Thank you, Speaker. Yeah. Minister. That's why we're pleased to have had the, the, the advice from the Auditor General over the past five months as we redeveloped our plan because we understood that the uh, system was broken and it was patchwork. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to meet with UMSA, the municipal service providers that are delivering social assistance at the local level. This is what they asked us for at AMO, better local delivery, more wraparound services and supports for those who can work and those who can to make sure that they live life with greater <coughs> dignity. We understand that Ontario Works should be temporary and the ask Operation should be a job in Ontario, not going into a program that they'll trap them into uh, poverty. We know that right now we spend over $10 billion on social assistance. Almost 1 million people are on the programs, yet still one in seven people are trapped in poverty. That's unacceptable. We believe the best social program for those who can Response. work is a job.